is a repair video of this underfloor heating thermostat. This is the one that you put in the wall. And this is the front plate. It will be clicked in place like that. It goes into the wall. And we got a face plate that comes on the top here, which I don't got now. This one is a Eberle. The type is FRE F2A. 230 volts, 50 hertz. And here's the connectors here. We've got the heating element here. Line in neutral. We've got this clock here. So maybe at night you don't want this, so it gets a signal here and it turns off. The protecting earth and the sensor, which I at the moment put a resistor. This resistor will tell that this uh, heating element is at 15 degrees Celsius. Yes, let's plug it in and see what it does. I've got a neon here. I put on the heating element side and we've got the mains here. Now it's plugged in. Neon here, mains. So I will now plug it in and see what happens. I want to get zapped by this uh, resistor here. So let's turn it on. Let's turn the knob. It's blinked. Let's turn it off again. It just uh, blinks and doesn't stay on. The LED is on here, so it wants to heat, but it can't heat. The relay is off. So maybe the dropper capacitor in it is uh, damaged. Being old. Yes, it can't hold the relay on. So yes, I will take it apart. I will be measure the capacitor. So let's begin to remove all of this. And the sensor resistor. Put that on the side here. Yes. Held in place with some clips. There is inside of it the potentiometer here. We got this relay, some LEDs. The green LED is for the clock. So when the clock is on, the green LED will light up. Here's the switch. This extra part on it. The circuit board is held in by this one. The capacitor should be underneath. Yes, here we go. And here's underneath it. Got the microcontroller here, got a full bridge rectifier, this capacitor, and this wire that goes to the relay. And uh, this is must be the main uh, dropping capacitor for a capacitive dropper. Let me see how much that is. Pretty small capacitor. 0 0.22 microfarads. Let's desolder this one and measure it. Yes, let's desolder it. Very big uh, puddle here. Look at that. So yes, the capacitor is off. It's a pretty small capacitor for a 0 0.22 microfarad. For comparison, I got this one here, which is uh, 0 0.1 and it is like bigger than that one so now let's measure the capacitor the meter here and we can remove that one let's measure it should be 0 0.22 and that's too little it's 0 0.1 so we really need to change that of course it doesn't work, the capacitance is so low. 
So it's time to search for some capacitors. This box here, box here, and this one here. There's a big bunch of capacitors to search through. Yes, I found these two. They're pretty much the same size. They're both 0 0.22. If I, if I measure this black one. It's a bit low. Of course, this is an old capacitor. And this one. This one is very good. So I will use this one. I will throw this one away. I will solder in this one here. And we'll see if it fits. Now the capacitor is back in place. Look at that. Pretty big. The old one was so small. Let's put it back in the casing. See if it fits. It's a bit hard. Okay. Yes, here we go. Pretty nicely. They could have used a larger capacitor from the beginning. Yes, let's put this one here as well. And let's take put the lid on. Here we go, let's connect everything back together. And let's test it. Yes, now I've got everything plugged in again. Let's Turn it on. And no explosion. Let's see? Yes, look at that. Now the neon uh, stays on. Just having it running for a while. Yes, now it's a while later and it's, it's still turned on. Yes, I think it's working now. So, yes, it was the capacitor. So hopefully this will run for another while. Yes, let's disconnect everything and we'll go and put it back where it uh, comes from. Yes, here we are in the bathroom. We got this uh, thermostat here. Here's the front. Some tools. The washing machine. Some shower cabinet here. And it will go in here. I'm going to remove the tape so that expose the live wires. Big piece of tape here. Cables that will be connected to that. So yes, let's plug it in now. Let's remove the cables. Here's one for a heating element. This is this is for a sensor. Protecting earth here. So yes, live and neutral. Yes, now everything is plugged in. I'm gonna put it in the wall again. To bend the wires, so I don't damage anything. Yes, now it's in the wall again. And I'm going to put this faceplate back on. Yes, here we go. Let's screw it in here. No need to have this knob. Now it's in place. Let's go to the switchboard and turn the power on to it. Yes, now it's plugged in. Let's turn it on. No explosion. Let's turn the dial. Oh, look at that. I think it stayed on. It's working. Very good. So yes, hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.